Okay, YouTube, uh, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I had two of these um, grain segments uh, ready for my last video, but I only used one in my rocket. So, um, I've, all this time I've been storing this, and so that I could uh, show you what, I, what I'm going to do with it this time, I'm going to make another rocket. Uh, hopefully this one will be more successful, because I've changed the design a little bit. So here it is, um, let's see if I can get a good, uh, one-fourth inch uh, core through it. Um, you can see the core, I always do this, but uh, you see the, the core is nice quality. Uh, okay, you can see my uh, sawing block is sitting right there. I'm going to go ahead over here. You can see my sawing block is right here. I have my grain right here. Um, I've marked it at three inches. This uh, grain is originally six inches long. I marked it at three inches. We're going to cut it in half. We're going to be using two grains in this motor. Okay. Now you can see it's right there on the vise. Now what you're going to do is take a hammer and you're going to t gently tap the tap the propellant out of its out of the casing. See the grains coming out right there. Okay, I'm about to make my nozzle um, for my motor. Uh, I have a, uh, this is 12 centimeters in length. Uh, this is 3 fourths PVC, by the way. Um, but I'm about to make my nozzle. You've seen it 10,000 times on YouTube, I'm sure. Uh, just regular bentonite clay. I actually ball milled kitty litter in my ball mill. And I got my bentonite clay powder. Okay, uh, you've got your uh, casing. Uh, then you have, you know, you got your hammer and your ramming rod, okay? Y'all have all seen it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay, here's my nozzle. I drilled this. Uh, you, I told you before, it's bentonite clay. Even though bentonite clay does not, um, does not fare well, the, fare the best with uh, APCP, it still works just fine. I mean, it's really strong, it's uh, compacted, then they're real tight. I make my um, expansion cones uh, real simple with a Dremel tool. Just take it, put it on real high speeds, and um, with these, you know, the Dremel tool, tool tools, and I make my expansion cone. The expansion cone is not necessary. Okay, uh, so here we go for motor construction. You see on the far left, you have my casing with the nozzle already drilled in it. Uh, then you have two uh, roughly made O-rings made from masking tape uh, sitting right there and then over to the right of those uh, you have my two grain segments and then over to the right of that you have uh, my ramming rod. So uh, these are my components to making my rocket motor. First thing you want to do is put in one O-ring at the bottom. I'm going to do that. Okay. Push that down towards the bottom. Now if you remember, these two grain segments were once one grain segment. I split them by cutting them in half with a saw. So it's obvious that the best way these will fit inside a rocket motor is by placing them exactly how they were. If you can see here, that has, you see that line right there? And both of them have it. To, I wanna, when I put them in, I want to align those so that I'm going to align them so that that line is together at the same point. And that's my guarantee that I'm going to have a nice grain segment. If I have them opposite each other, you see how that's bent now. So uh, that's not going to work. i got to put them in just like that. You see here I have my first bottom, my bottom grain inserted. Just take your uh, ramming or packing rod, whatever, and... See, it's coming down already. Now remember, these grains are going to have a tight fit into the casing because you uh, casted them in the exact in, a, in an identical PVC tube.
Okay, now here's a tricky part. I want to show you this real quick. Uh, I'll turn this around. Get some light in there. Okay, you see now that the that's my top uh, grain inserted. So I have, I'd say roughly three centimeters to work with. This is going to have to be the uh, forward closure. This is going to have to seal off the top of the engine from all the pressure, and it can't be leak. Can't leak at all. So what I use to seal this off is a uh, five minute epoxy. And so, however, what I can't do is I cannot get have the epoxy touch that surface the surface of the propellant and I can't have the epoxy uh, dr dribble down into the core so I have to seal off somehow the um, have to seal off the top now from the, pro the epoxy that's gonna fill up the rest of the way so I take these three pieces of paper that you see here uh, they're just regular printing paper and what you do is you ram ram them down into your uh, casing as such like this take the piece of paper First, you want to get the shape of the head on it, like so. So now you have a circle. And then what you need to do is you need to, uh, one more time, kind of throw it in there and then take it out so you have the shape. Then you just basically put that in like that, fold the inside pieces in, and take that crumbled amount of paper and you. Okay? So you use the paper almost as an insulator like that and for good measure I uh, put my clay it's purple I mean it's pink clay but only a true man's not afraid to use pink every once in a while <laughs> but it's uh, just pink clay it's packed on and on top of the uh, paper this is just an extra careful thing to do just to make sure that just to be absolutely sure that there's no epoxy seeping down into the propellant. Now what, you, now what you need to do is sand the inside of this tube remaining so that the epoxy can really have uh, could have some good grooves to really set in and be strong. So I have this really really rough sandpaper and some uh, finer sandpaper. You just rough it up with both of them as good as you can. I didn't want to go through the hassle of showing you uh, how to pour the epoxy. I'm sure you know all know how to do it. Uh, well, there it is. The five minute epoxy. It's not cured yet. That's why I'm not holding it up to the camera. But uh, it's uh, curing right now. Um, it's filled up to the top. So that's like a centimeter layer of five minute epoxy. Uh, the making the inside of the tube rough is a very, very, very important thing to do. If you don't, there's a much higher chance that that your rocket will. Uh, give give way and it won't uh, fly properly. Okay, so here's my rocket motor. Uh, you see that it's balanced a little bit more towards the stick. Uh, that's actually good. That's kind of how you want it balanced. Uh, so this is practically my motor. Uh, you see how it's just taped on to my stick. My stick ha had to do a modification of my stick because last time this snapped off so I'm trying to See if that'll work. Okay. There it is.